Moin Moin, it's me, Wolfgang from Flensburg in Northern Germany. Uh, I just made a video for my uh, German friends uh, and I think uh, it's fair enough to uh, do almost uh, the same video or tell the same things uh, what I was uh, doing in German. I think I will do it uh, also in uh, English German, eh, English German, oh my god, in English language, uh, so you know what I'm talking about. So first, it's Monday evening, uh, I think it's almost uh, noon or, or uh, morning and over there where you live, but we have uh, about half an hour after five so I'm allowed to have a good Flensburg beer uh, I say Prost to you all like we say here or mud in your eye <laughs> the way I learned it by GIs about 45 years ago well um, I uh, bought uh, some tobacco last Saturday. My wife and me, we uh, uh, went uh, to a small town about uh, 40 kilometers uh, away from Flensburg. It's a small town called Eckernförde. We just want to go somewhere else, look around the Christmas market and what's going on there. You know, other towns, uh, always the shops are better. That's what uh, my wife was thinking. She found some, some stuff uh, she said she wouldn't find in, in our town. So she was happy and we had some coffee. And then I thought I need some pipe cleaners and uh, maybe some tobacco. And uh, I've been many times in this little place or this little town, but i never been to any... Uh, tobacco shop I didn't even know, know uh, if there is one and I found one and uh, I went in uh, came in on the right side with uh, this shelf with all the uh, cigarettes and, and cigarette tobaccos and everything and on the left side were newspapers and okay I didn't see any pipe tobacco and uh, then uh, the owner of the store, I think it was the owner, he came and asked me if he could help me. I said, yeah, I'm looking for some uh, tobacco. And now I was, I was shocked, I think. Uh, I looked at him, uh, I don't know, uh, like a cow in a thunderstorm, I don't know, because he asked me, uh, do you want 100 gram of tobacco or do you want 50 gram of tobacco? Usually, I, I know uh, the storekeeper, if they ask me if I want nature tobacco, if I want flavored tobacco, if I have a special brand. Uh, no, he just asked me if, if I want 100 gram or 50 gram. Uh, I did not know what to say. So, in the, in the back of the, the store, a few steps uh, was there, and uh, there I saw a shelf with a lot of uh, c cigar uh, cartons and everything and I went up there and on the left side were some pipes in a, in a, in a uh, made out of glass sideboard and uh, on the front side uh, a lot of uh, cigars and on the right side there was a shelf with um, mm, a few tobaccos, some lozenges all this jubilee stuff and all these things and uh, some uh, McBaron's uh, tobaccos you find everywhere even in, in every uh, filling station you find this tobaccos and well some uh, home made tobaccos of this shop but nothing really interesting no Gavis and no there was nothing who was interesting except maybe um, a carton with six, five or six different Peterson tobaccos. And so I uh, 
decided to buy some Peterson. And uh, I like nature tobacco, but I think I, it takes some flavor. So I found Sweet Killarney by Peterson. I'm an Ireland fan, so the name interested me. And I looked what's in there, and uh, they said it's Virginia Burley, Virginia Burley, Maryland tobacco, Black Cavendish. Topped with a cream caramel flavor and blended with hand, hand rubbed Virginia. Okay, hand rubbed Virginia, if they made by machine or hand, I don't care. But um, like I said in the German video, Maryland tobacco doesn't say, mean anything to me. I don't know. I have to, I think I have to look at Google uh, what Maryland tobacco is. But the thing is, uh, I open it and I show you the tobacco. Um, looks pretty good. Um, the condition is great. It's not too uh, uh, too moisture. It's not uh, too dry. It's just excellent, and uh, it smells. I smell tobacco and just in the background, just a little bit of this caramel. So I thought when I opened it, it won't be uh, so much flavored. And I show you one of the hand, hand uh, what they say, uh, hand rub Virginia flake. I show you some Virginia flake. Uh, this is cut by a knife, by a machine, but not uh, rubbed by a hand, I think. But doesn't matter. The tobacco, I have uh, this tobacco in, in this pipe. It's a Dunhill 905. I think especially made for the German market because it, it is uh, for a 9mm filter. But I smoke without filter. I should take a Peterson pipe, but uh, I went to my pipes and I grabbed this one and later on I found out, hey, I should take a Peterson, but that's okay. But the tobacco, tastes very good, it's not too sweet, and um, I, I uh, taste the t tobacco and just a little bit of the caramel. And uh, this pipe I smoked about a half now. Now the caramel is gone and I just uh, taste a very, very uh, good tobacco. Not too strong. Um, a little bit, I don't know the, the English word, I just say a little bit spicy. Taste fantastic. So, or, or very good. So, uh, if you ever are in a shop or, or, or you see a Peterson tobacco and uh, you don't know what to get, and if you like a little bit caramel, um, the Sweet Killarney by Peterson, I think it's for once in a while, it's a pretty good tobacco. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I think I will enjoy this evening. Very easy. Drinking my beer. My wife is uh, outside. She's coming back in about two hours. She used to, she's uh, has a hobby. She's going to Spanish school. She's going to learn Spanish. So uh, I have a little bit of time and sit here and enjoy. I think I'll go and listen to some music and read a book. And um, I hope uh, you have a good week, a good time uh, before Christmas. And uh, I hope, or maybe we see us before Christmas. So I say bye to you and uh, take care. We'll see us. Moin, moin.